Hi everyone, welcome to my capstone presentation. My name is Casey Gilson and the title of my poster is Evaluating the Feasibility of Expanding Recycling in the Southwest United States and its Impacts on Public Lands. I interned with Perennial Zero Waste Consulting and Perennial Zero Waste Consulting is collaborating with the U.S. Forest Service to create a zero waste management plan for national forests of the Southwest Region 3. Poor waste management can have negative impacts to humans and the natural environment, and the Southwest U.S. lacks proper infrastructure to provide recycling services for the entire region. Also, waste management services are provided less frequently to rural areas and public lands. This inspired my research questions, which are, what are the advantages and barriers of expanding recycling initiatives in the Southwest U.S., and how can these initiatives be utilized by public lands? In my internship, I assessed waste data and performed waste audits in the Tonto National Forest in Arizona, which you can see in figure one. I also created a hub and spoke map illustrating the distance between recycling facilities and district and supervisor offices in national forests. I also conducted expert interviews and literature review regarding waste management in the Southwest. Looking at my results in figure two, I concluded that barriers to expanding recycling initiatives in the Southwest US include policy legislation, education, infrastructure, economic, and environmental. Policy includes both US and international policy as the United States exports a lot of its trash and waste to foreign countries. There's also a lack of outreach programs and educational opportunities regarding recycling. And there's also a gap between rural and urban recycling services. Rural areas receive less opportunities to recycle. There's also limited funding and lack of investment due to the high cost of recycling compared to regular trash services. And there's also just a lack of interest in sustainable waste management and recycling. So overcoming these barriers is important and that can be done by increasing financial support from a variety of stakeholders, which would also help increase the amount of recycling facilities and transfer stations in the region. Also offering educational resources like infographics would educate producers on how to sort their trash and what can be recycled, as well as um, following or utilizing ideas from past initiatives that were successful, such as the New Mexico Recycling Coalition um, received a federal grant to improve recycling and bridging the gap between urban and rural areas in New Mexico, um, which was successful. And I also could concluded that the advantages to expanding recycling initiatives um, include uh, the mitigation of environmental issues caused by burying materials in landfills. Um, since this expansion would be supported by policy, there would also likely be more federal funding and economic opportunities um, for recycling initiatives. And the increase in outreach and education would encourage um, conscious behavior that could be translated to other aspects of um, one's life, and looking at how national forests are uh, specifically impacted um, with the increase in facilities and transfer stations, uh, the distance between recycling services and national forests would be reduced, which you can see in figure three, which is super beneficial and will help um, national forests participate in recycling, as well as reduce the amount of legal dumping. So expanding recycling initiatives is significant because there are already recycling programs in the Southwest. Um, so recycling can be a transitional service towards more sustainable waste management services, such as composting. Um, establishing more facilities and transfer stations would lower the cost of recycling, making it more accessible, um, especially to those rural areas. And um, Improved infrastructure um, could be transitioned or translated to other areas of the regions, other national forests, which would um, help uh, the entire United States improve their waste management services. So thank you for listening. And I would like to thank my site supervisors, Anna Wilson and Hannah Johnson, my faculty advisor, Sam Kay, my friends and family, and my POE co cohort with the constant support throughout my capstone experience. Thank you.